Welcome everyone to the round 22 punters preview. I think everything you, on, you see on here says round 21. We're going to update that by the time that I, by the time that you see this, I promise this will all say NRL round 22. So Google wiki link tree, our discord has crossed 5,000 people. We've got the odds comparison tool, my try score picks and a whole bunch of other stuff, including the left, left B right article, where we go through who's on the left and right edge for every single team. And I chuck out a couple of stats to help you pick your try scorers. So guys, I'm just gonna rattle through try score picks. So if you can see my screen, if you're on our Discord, you're getting access to these picks before anyone else because going live on YouTube didn't work. <laughs> so check that out. Da -da -da. I've sent it out to the premium guys already. All right, let's do it. So Tigers Cowboys, um, I've got Stefano Utikamanu, FTS and LTS 51s on Bet365. I'm not gonna say this anymore. They are always singles. They're always separate bets, please. Uh, yeah, because I've got a few questions saying, hey, where's the multi-option and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I always tip singles on here. So, yep, Stefano, love him. Uh, the Cowboys actually concede a lot of tries to middle forwards as well. So you guys know that Stefano's a beast. Up, he puts him over. That's the reasoning there. Luki and Nanai, they're just gun prices. One of the boys in the premium chat did tell me that Nanai is no longer 21s. I was going off the premium odds comparison tool that I updated a couple of hours ago. So I'm sorry if that's not there. I will fix that. Luki is a great price. 29s up at 365, really good ball runner, and he's up against the Tigers. Uh, and Funi Fuyaki, he comes on at plays edge late in the game. Um, I think he was tipped. Um, I think he was a premium tip uh, earlier in the week, but he's actually even become a better price now. So he's out to 34s. Great price for a Cowboys edge player up against the Tigers. Great price. Um, Warriors v Eels. The Eels. They're short on players. They're coming second last. They're playing the Warriors in New Zealand, but that's where all the good prices are. So <laughs> um, Dejan Arcee, ooh, that is wrong. That should be 41s. Whoops. Uh, Dejan Arcee, 41s on 365. I'll update that. Wiram McGregor, 81s on 365. That's for, uh, and Kurt Capewell, 26s on 365. And all three of them are for first and last try separate plays, guys. Arcee's a good ball runner. Wira McGregor is a beast of a middle forward. And Capewell is just a juicy prize for a Warriors player. Um, and Sean Lane. So, like, yeah, he had a pretty good game statistically last week. Um, first, second, or third track, 15s on Neds. It's like seeing, seeing $45 for him first try scorer, like similar to that. And I, I would really like that if I saw that for him first try scorer. So that's the reasoning for those plays. Um, Dolphins v Roosters. I... Only have one pick for this because I didn't have enough time to add more. But the one pick is Maxi Plath, who we nailed at 81 to 1 when he crashed over first a couple of months ago. Love all things Maxi Plath. Um, I will make sure to have a look it out for any other value plays. But yeah, Maxi Plath, he's hooker, so he doesn't get as many like running opportunities. But he's already shown that he'll dummy and go. I think he came close to crashing over about two weeks ago. And that 67 price tag, it's like they don't know who he is. He's clearly someone who likes to go for the try line. Really, really like all things Maxi Plath. Um, Titans v. Broncos. So I'll tell you a little bit of a story around why I like this play so much. So I might be wrong on this, but th these are the two things that I remember. So actually, you know what? Stuff it. There's not that much to it. Last year... The Titans played the Broncos, and I think it was Tom Flegler that crashed over mid-year. It was like around July, oh, fuck, almost this time last year. Tom Flegler crashed over against the Titans, I'm pretty sure, when they played each other. Earlier this year, if you guys remember, it was a free tip on in the article, Payne Haas crashed over at 51's first try scorer. Unfortunately, the prices aren't so great for the others, but Jensen, he's paying 71s on toppy. I hope that price hangs around, but I think we should find like a 60-something somewhere, which is still all right. But um, anyways, love middle four. And the Titans conceded. Oh, who did they concede to? They conceded. Um, oh, that's right. They played the Dolphins. If I, I might be getting things wrong, guys. I might have my wife crossed. But pretty sure it was TPJ and Jesse Bromwich last week against the Titans. That went over as well. So anyways, there's a few different like... Uh, it's almost like a like I hear the super coach uh podcast and stuff say like a vibe speak. It's not exactly a vibe speak, but there's a couple of different reasons why I like Jensen to crash over first. Um, and the other two picks for this game are Jaden oh, sorry, that's uh Corey Jensen FTS 71s on top sport, by the way. Um da -da 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 -da. Jaden Campbell and Adam Reynolds, uh both FTS and LTS on 365 separate plays. Campbell is 29s, Reynolds is 41s. 
The one I really, really like, Jaden Campbell, electric ball runner, good price. Um, but Reynolds' last try score of 41s is the one that I really, really like. The small half at 41s, late in the game. Absolutely love that. Uh, Storm V Dragons, this should be an absolute massacre in Melbourne. Frankie Molo, again, I'm storytelling here, but I remember winning on him at 151s on Anzac Day in 2022. I always go back to that one. But um, yeah, we've got him at 101s on Neds and Bet365. Ben Hunt, uh, first try score at 41s on a few different bookies, including 365, Top E, Points Bet, and TAB. Jack DeBello, 81s for first or last separate players on 365. Moses Suli, first, second, or third try, 14s on Neds. Um, the reason I like that, like I did, I do write in my uh, right v left article, it's all about Benny Hunt, it's all about the Dragons right side and stuff. But Suli has, um, he looked really good last week. And I know the Dragons were crap, but he, um, I think he made a line break or a couple of good runs. But anyways, uh, that's similar to seeing like around 40 for first try scorer. And I know that I'd be interested in a little bit of that uh, for Moses Suli. Uh, Sharks v Rabbitohs, guys, quite a few picks in this one. Uh, Davi Mawale, first try scorer uh, at 71s on BetRight, 67 on a few other bookies. He crashed over for us. What was it, two? Oh, was that a, uh, ah, it was a premium pick a couple of weeks ago, but he did go. He did score the first try a couple of weeks ago at 67s, I think he was, which is awesome. Really good middle forward for, for try scorer reasons. And um, what was the other thing I was going to say? The Sharks are missing Tom Hazelton. And I think it's one of those games where it's like, I don't expect the Rabbitohs to do well. They didn't play that well last week. Their season's almost all done. But they get Cam Murray back, a little bit of momentum. Um, and Mawale at first try score at 71s. Cook first try score at 44s. And Kepi first and last separate plays, 81s on 365. That's the starting pack and all pretty juicy, juicy prices for us. Atkinson got up as a premium pick last try. Well, he scored the last try last week. This week, you get him first and last try. Separate players, 29s on bet 365. And Whiten, first try score at 34s on Dabble, which I think is a great pick. Say what you want about Jack Whiten, but he's a strong, strong ball runner. Um, Panthers v Knights, guys. Second last game. Again, it's this one, I've actually got faith in the Knights. Like, I, I'm not saying they're going to win. It is a Panthers home game. They looked great last week against the uh, the Dragons. Clear is just on in ridiculous form. But I do love the Knights for uh, like individual players in the Knights. I really, really like. And I'll go through some of the best prices we found. Uh, Dan Safidi, first try score 81s, bet right and points bet. Shaden Braley, first and last separate players, 101s on 365. Tyson Frizzell, first try score up 44s on top sport. Adam Elliott, first and last, separate 81s on 365. And Kai Pierce Paul, uh, FTS, first try scorer at 61s, which is ridiculous for point uh, on points bet, sorry, uh, which is ridiculous. He's never, I don't think he's, he still hasn't scored an NRL try. I know super coach and fantasy players would be pissed off about that. And how weird would it be if he breaks the drought against the Panthers? But he's a really good ball runner. And you guys know I'm all about prices and, and sort of, trying to predict what's going to happen rather than just going, oh, he scores zero tries or whatever. He looks really good as a ball runner and let's back that in. Uh, Bulldogs v Raiders, Tapine, first and last, 81s on 365, separate plays. You know, I love Tapine. Yes, I know he barely scores, but I can't say no to 81s about my boy. Joey Tapine, um, Whitehead, first try, 41s on 365 and top sport. He starts on an edge early in the game um, and on his edge, You'll see that I found Jamal Fogarty, first, second, or third try, 19s on Neds. It's like seeing 57s for first try scorer, which is just an insane price. I get that the Bulldogs were excellent last week. I'm not taking that away. But because of that, like, oh, sorry, I will say on the other side, the Raiders have also been really good the last couple of weeks since Fogarty's come back. First, second, or third try, 19s on Neds for Fogarty. And his halves partner, who's back to his favorite left, mini Jack Wyden, Ethan Strange, First, second, or third try, 16s on Nets, which I really, really like. So I think the I was saying to the premium guys, the last couple of weeks, there have been some pretty good try scorer prices. We finally broke our drought last week with DC getting up at 34s when he scored last last week. Um, but honestly, I fully accept the try score results have been shit compared to last year. For a bit of context, guys, we went at about plus 25%. ROI last year and the free tips are at minus 25% this year. So I got to cop that. Obviously it's not good enough, but I'm still pretty happy with these prices and what there's like six rounds to go. 
So we're going to keep giving it a crack and hopefully our luck turns. So, all right, guys, um, I'm going to call it because I've got a few things to do. It's later on a Thursday. Hopefully you enjoyed the mini pod. I know I haven't talked through um, too much except for the picks and the prices, but very quickly, if you go to Wiki, obviously, our left free right article is up. I've done a little bit of analysis. Uh, it's like two sentences, but um, <laughs> talked about um, tonight's game a little bit. And I put a link into Super Coach Guns' try map, who I know everyone likes. So give him a follow on Twitter and Instagram. You guys know the odds comparisons. Oh, sorry, this is the, the premium one. Uh, I brought this up because it's only five bucks a week, guys. If you want to get onto the premium odds comparison tool, you can see all the different markets, all the different bookies that you can access and super cheap to access. And obviously you've got the free ones. You can see like what some of the best anytime try score plays are according to our model. Or you can see for starters only what some of the just like standout prices are and surprise surprise <laughs> they're all on 365 so anyways guys i'm gonna leave you to it enjoy your weekend scamble responsibly hope you enjoy the weekend footy i will leave you to it uh good luck with round 22 and that's me done